Hello everybody, this is Tom and Maggie and we are about to put together the worm bin that we brought over from the old house and I just thought I'd show you how I put it together um, so you guys can see um, because I get pretty good um, organisms growing in terms of fungal to bacteria biomass um, I've learned from Elaine Ingham uh, that we need wood chips as a pedestal on the bottom uh, so that the anaerobic juices don't just sit there in a, in a soggy mess of, of a, a vermicast and uh, it acts like a sponge and holds it there and we want it to drain down and, and leach out so um, basically we're just using wood chips and I could use a little bigger wood chips these are a little bit small but I just used my um, eco uh, wood chipper for the first time it's been in storage for a year since I bought it and I'm very excited um, because now we can make our own wood chips for doing uh, humanure. We've got a, a compost toilet, and um, it's also good for lots of things, but uh, basically uh, vermicast is what we're going to do right now. So what I do um, first is I use an Oseum um, screen. This is just back porch screen for the most part uh, that you keep um, Noceums and mosquitoes out of your back porch with. Um, but I put that down because it's, it's coated, so it won't rust as bad. Um, and then these are hardware wire so this is just a mesh wire and it's called hardware wire uh, if you're looking for it in the store but i usually make a few squares of it and set it down on the bottom right here and that just kind of acts like a filter um, so none, none of the worms can get out and then i put a rock over the top of it just like that and i make sure i got a good pitch so this has got uh, one more brick than these do and i use bricks to hold it up off the ground um, you guys can see the structure support there um, but and that allows me to put a tub underneath this um, so I can collect the vermicast juice if I wanted to. Um, but mostly I just uh, pour it on the, the compost piles for the most part. Um, I used to use it for uh, um, hydroponics, but now I have nine acres, so I'm not so sure I'll be doing hydroponics. But that is an awesome propagation station. It allows me to propagate plants super quick. Um, so I might set it up again. I'm not real sure. But for right now, we're just gonna focus on getting this set up. Um, and then I still need to finish unloading my trailer um, and get all the paint that I have from storage into our uh, warm storage area because it's water-based and will freeze. And then it will go bad if it freezes. So that's no good. Um, so first we need to make a pedestal, uh, which is basically just putting the wood chips in. And this will hold the vermicast off the bottom. Uh, and really, you're supposed to have about a foot, um, so I need to make a little bit more. Um, but this is essentially what we'd be doing here. And I'm going to fire the the, um, the wood chipper up and just get a, a little bit more uh, wood chips to put in the bottom here. We need about this much um, in addition over here. Uh, and I've already done this, actually, with the vermicast that I have. Um, this is what I took out of the worm bin. Uh, well, this is a little bit better, um, but I put pumpkin on top of it to feed the worms, so uh, while we were moving, um, yeah, you guys can see uh, once we get underneath here, that this had wood chips in it, and it still has a little, some remnants, you can see like a wood chip right there, um, but man, they broke down really, really well, which means I have good fungal um, concentrations in my, my vermicast here. So we want lots of fungi, lots of good soil fungi. And those are the soil fungi that are in the, um, the worm poop. So when worms poop, they, they actually, their feces contains a ball and the outside is an anaerobic food web. Um, and that's a, for facultative species, they like for their brood chambers to be about 70% moisture. So the outside of their, their castings is, um, is uh, facultative or anaerobic in some conditions, but uh, mainly facultative. Um, so lots of uh, bacillus and, and uh, ciliates, things like that. Um, and then on the inside, though, there's a complete ecosystem of aerobic organisms. So uh, lots of fungi, bacteria, and some good protozoa in there, um, and even some nematodes, I believe, but uh, or eggs, at least. But um, that's the, the general idea, guys, is that we want to basically get the aerobic food web going and reduce the amount of facultative and... Uh, anaerobic organisms and the way we do that is basically with 
with wood chips for the most part. I mean, that's the simplest way to say it, but we can use a lot of different things. But the easiest way in this, since you guys are watching this, um, wood chips are the, the way we're doing that, is to just basically make sure that it drains really well and get that leachate out so it doesn't cr uh, go stagnant in the bottom and create an anaerobic situation where those facultative and, and anaerobic um, organisms propagate. We want to keep those at a minimum and breed the aerobic organisms. So that's what we're doing basically. Um, but I need more wood chips. And then, um, I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory. I'm not going to keep this video going for the duration of making more wood chips and just taking this and dumping it on top. Um, but I will say um, that I'm not going to just take it and dump it because I need to move the vegetation um, uh, to the side and make sure anything that's not decomposing is going to remain on, on top and doesn't get mixed in because that will breed the anaerobes. Um, so we want to keep those to a minimum, like I said, which means we need to keep the organics on the top of the pile and let the worms come up to it and decompose it so that it leaches down into it. And what we get as a result is basically a lot of amino acids uh, leaching down and that um, organic matter is going to decompose and become vermicast. So, and that's worm poop. Um, for the, the layman's terms, but that's that's where we're going with it, guys. Um, and I'm gonna stop this there because I think you got the gist. Um, but that's what I'm going, uh, or that's what I'm doing today. Um, after unloading and I cleaned my deck off, I got a lot of debris off that so it won't be rotting. Uh, that had some very interesting decomposition going as well. And I'm basically just stalling uh, to take that tarp off because I really have to be working on the roof. And then I realized today that um, we bought the house and I didn't realize how bad it was, um, but the, this wall on this side right here is actually uh, coming away just a little bit. So I have to deconstruct that whole thing and put it back up um, before I do the roof. Um, so yeah, it's a job, you know, but these are things we do. So I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. This is Tom and I guess it's permaculture Atkinson now because I'm living in Atkinson. So. You guys have a great day. Live regeneratively, grow abundantly, learn daily, think rationally, and be well.